All right, here's this automatic closing door to the basement. And it has carpet, but is not finished. So makes it a little more quiet and comfortable. They have a sump pit that they carpeted over. That'll need to be fixed. Somebody did a plumbing repair incorrectly here. I would definitely suggest having that corrected. Looks like they had some water issues. Could have been during construction or mm, they had a burst pipe and and it got everything wet in here. That's what the rust is from. That's true. I notice a high amount of corrosion on the copper, and that's usually from exposure to water. Um, this has been pre-plumbed, so if you want to add a bathroom down here, it's pretty easy. It is insulated, has three egress windows. And there is a crawl space, standard furnace and water heater. Got a nice little sink. Um, does have an alarm system. And here's the crawl space that they're using for storing paint and stuff. Here we are at 2896 South Killarney Way. And this is the home in Aurora. Two car garage in front. It is a corner property. This is not a major road, but there is one a little bit major a block away. Not terribly. I'm walking down the, to show you the side street and the side of the property. Lots of trees. I've done a number of homes in this neighborhood and it really seems to be a really good, decent neighborhood. It's relatively quiet, nice people. There's a number of parks and bikeways nearby. But uh, let's go ahead and head up to go in. The concrete's got a little bit of spalling. You see that a lot around here. And now for the entry. Okay, here's the first step inside the door. And you do have a tile floor, carpet, not new. And we have a great room feel to this with a high ceiling. That's the living room. It's got a fireplace with a pass-through above it. It's kind of cool. And for view from the corner. So you have a vault happening above the kitchen and dining area. Kitchen has Formica tops, a mix of appliances that are black or stainless, stainless sink. Again, it's a tile floor. It does appear to have a pantry. Yep. And then we're in the formal dining. So this has informal dining off the kitchen and formal dining. So standard ceiling height. And going past the open stairway, there's a powder right here, convenient for public use. For mica top, here's the laundry and entrance to the oversized two-car garage. So it's extra wide, so you can fit two standard size vehicles and have room for other stuff out here. Okay, try not to spin too fast. These look like the original builder doors, by the way. And this is the master suite, which is ground level. View out to the backyard, which I'll get to. Master bath is open. Soaker tub, shower, two sinks, the water closet, and a walk-in closet. Okay. 
Alrighty. Going upstairs. We have a landing. There's a, another open area, loft, up here. And this is similar to the previous one where it would not be uncommon to convert this to a bedroom. It looks like it's pre-wired pre for surround sound if this were chosen to be a media room. The screen would be on this side. Here we are overlooking the lower floor with the living room and kitchen. That window, the seal is broken and has fogged. So that's not uncommon, happens usually with storms and it can be replaced. The finish on this door looks a little rough, I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like somebody used, it's, it's not an original door, it's been replaced with a non-oak door. So, here's a bedroom with closet. Here's the bath. Another bedroom. They actually have these extra window liners in here and that could be what's fogging. They'll probably need to be popped out and cleaned. So it is entirely possible that that window isn't fogged, just needs to be cleaned. It's got that extra storm on it. That's an energy saving feature. So here we are in the final bedroom with the closet and let's go check on the basement.